Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Clanfield, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to balance a camera on a gimbal very efficiently and very quickly. Most gimbals are all about the same, so I'm gonna show you guys my method here, and you guys can try it at home on your gimbals. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so before you do anything, you wanna get your camera ready to go. So the first thing you wanna do is take off the lens cap. This will actually set the balance differently. Of course, you need a battery in it. This will definitely change on how the weight is distributed. And the third one is an SD card. Put, make sure your SD card is in and ready to go. Put the lens that you wanna be using. I'm using a 35 millimeter lens here. If it has a zoom lens, make sure to set it to the right zoom uh, focal distance because if you change the focal distance later, it may tilt your camera depending on the zoom lens that you have. Once you've done that here, then you wanna attach your camera. Most gimbals nowadays come with a quick release plate. Mine did not, so I bought this one, and now all my cameras and tripods have the same quick release plate so that I can move easily between them. Once you put that there, the first axis that I'm gonna work on is balancing the camera so that it doesn't tilt back or doesn't tilt forward. So let's go ahead and do that. So by just pushing it forward slightly, I'm gonna find a middle. So if it's tilting backwards, it needs to go forward that way. And basically you're just treating it like a level. You wanna make sure that this top is level. So if it's moving there, you wanna counterbalance it until it stops moving. Once you do that, then you wanna lock it in and try another thing. So I always flip it upside down to make sure it stays and it does. The next axis we're gonna be taking a look at is gonna be this axis right here, which is gonna be your tilt axis. You've got your tilt, you've got your roll, and then if you've got your well, pan or yaw. So I'm gonna take a look at this one here. So I'm gonna move it like this so you can see. I always set it so that this is flat like a level. So if you had a little level here, you wanna make sure that that's level when you're working on this axis. If you're working on this axis, same thing. You wanna make sure that this is level. So let's go ahead and take a look at this axis. I'm gonna unscrew that thing here and I'm gonna start moving. So let's see. So that's already pretty good, but let me show you if it wasn't. If it wasn't, it'd be tilting forward like that. So we wanna make sure that this axis right here is level. As you can see right now, it's not. So let's move it backwards. Okay, that's pretty good. And you can again test it by turning it upside down. And basically anywhere you place it should stay if those axes are ready to go. Very good. The next one we're gonna work on is this one here. We're gonna unscrew it again and we're gonna start shifting it around. So right now we've got very heavy this way on the left. So I'm gonna start pushing and counterbalancing the other way until it stays just like that. And then again, we can test it by turning it upside down and seeing if it stays there. Basically anywhere we place this, it should stay in that spot. Now this one's the hardest one to do. The reason is because it doesn't have a standing plate, but this is gonna be our, our pan or our yaw, however you wanna call it here. The easiest way I found is sticking this into yourself like this, and with one hand you hold it. Again, notice that this here is flat. So let me turn this way so you guys can see. So by turning it this way here, again, I'm looking at this and making sure that this is flat across the plane. Right now it's already flat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other side. Put this like this and make sure it's flat. If it wasn't flat, this is what it would look like. Let's move this out. As you can see, this is all over the place. This is not flat. So let's go ahead and counterbalance it. Let's push it in. Still not flat. Push it in a little bit more. As you can see, now it's perfectly flat and level. So let's go ahead and tighten it there. and then we can test it all the spots. Now, every time you do movements, maybe one of the other ones will need to be readjusted, so I always check all the points. Point number one is this one here. Is it tilting forward or back? The next one is here, this level. Is it gonna fall? No, it's not. The next one's gonna be this one here. It's perfect, and then the last one here is this one flat, and it is. Once you do that, let's go ahead and power it on. And there we go, and we can see that we are working and everything is great and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you wanna watch more things like this and I'll see you guys in next week's video.